go to any high traffic bathroom. It must be a high traffic bathroom, otherwise the room won't have enough latent residual energy to carry out the task. A hotel bathroom is perfect. Make sure it's after midnight, and make sure you have two clove cigarettes. The stronger the cigarette, the higher your success rate is. Sit in the dark and begin smoking one of the cigarettes. Make sure there is a mirror present and that you look at your reflection at all times. The burning cherry should provide just enough light for this. When you've smoked the cigarette within one-fourth of the filter, the room should be full of smoke. Your eyes will no doubt be watering, but don't blink. Don't take your eyes off of the mirror or your reflection, whatever you do. To blink will make all you've done at this point for naught. You'll begin to notice that your reflection will begin to fade into black. The reflection of the cherry from your cigarette will begin to separate into two red eyes. The smoke in the room will begin to condense, and before you even realize it's happened, a shade will be sitting on the ledge of the sink. He'll ask you for a cigarette, which is why you're instructed to bring two. Give the shade a cigarette, which will light itself once he brings it to his withered lips. At this point, you can ask the shade any question you want, and he'll answer truthfully. You can ask who shot JFK, who was Jack the Ripper, anything you could possibly think of. Be sure to keep an eye on how much of the cigarette he's smoked. When it gets to the point where it will only take a few more hits to kill it, the smoke from the other cigarette will begin to define more of his features, making him more material than ethereal. At this point, stand up and snatch out his eyes in one sweeping motion. He should still be mostly smoke, so your hand should pass easily through his head. If you let him finish the cigarette, he will attack you, surely taking your life in the process. The shade will begin screaming and cursing you, and the hand holding his eyes will be burning intensely. Do not open your hand. Even though the eyes are disembodied, they can see if they are out in the open. Run to the light switch and flip it on. This will banish the shade's physical form and send him back into the ether. Leave the room and wait until 3 a.m. to open your hand. The burning will be unbearable until then. But to open your hand before 3 a.m. will blow all the lights out in your hotel room, allowing the shade to return and seek vengeance. You will have four burn marks on your palm when you open it, all cauterized, of course, and mostly healed. From then on, you can never be in a dark room with a mirror, because the shade will be able to track you through the burns in your hand. He'll have black hellhounds now, given his loss of sight, and they are far more terrible than the Shade could ever be. The number of hellhounds depends on the strength of the Shade you made contact with. After this, you'll always be cold, no matter how warm it is, and you'll be given the ability to perform minor miracles. Your dreams will always be nightmares, but in them you will be granted a kind of third sight. You'll never be able to see anything good, only the most horrific future events. And these events will only be known to you at a point where you can't do anything to stop them. A small price to pay for absolute knowledge.